O monstro roxo tem uma filha? Sim, pessoal, e ele virou o monstro roxo para proteger a sua filha. E tem uma história muito triste, galera. E agora vocês vão conhecer a verdadeira história do monstro roxo. De onde ele veio? Quem foi os pais do monstro roxo? Nós vamos ver isso agora. E não esqueçam de acessar o canal incrível do Game Toons, que fizeram toda essa animação maravilhosa pra gente, pessoal. Eita, nós, o que, que é isso? Nossa, do nada eles começaram a brigar o Green e o Purple. O que que tá acontecendo? Nossa, que briga feia, meu Deus. O Green foi nocauteado. Por que que o Purple tá brigando com eles? Nossa, que que é isso? Ele vai contar, o Purple vai contar a história dele, vamos ver. All started on that one horrible day. The day of the fire. That was the day that I was left alone in this world. My mom, my dad, my brother. I had lost everything. Nossa. My family didn't have much, and what we did have was burnt up in that flame. Meu Deus, o... I'm a survivor, you see. Tadinho do Purple. From there I moved from foster home to foster home, meeting new families. O Purple foi abandonado pelos pais dele, é isso? E agora ele tá procurando um lugar para poder ter uma nova família. Nossa, que loucura. Tadinho do Purple. And playing them for suckers. I was constantly on the move. If I ever stuck in one place for too long, I started to have nightmares of my old home, my old family, and the fires that swept them all away. Because of my tendency to move around, the school systems didn't know what to do with me. I decided on my own to drop out. From there, I became something of a street rat, robbing what I could from rich past. Olha a história do Purple, pessoal, só para vocês entenderem. O Purple tinha os pais, os pais deles acho que abandonaram ele. Ele foi de, de família por família, ninguém queria ele. E aí ele não conseguia, bem, ele não conseguia ir bem na escola, porque ele não conseguia estudar, porque ele ficava viajando de cidade em cidade. E agora ele resolveu cometer crimes, pessoal. Survive, enough to survive, and perhaps a little more. My sticky fingers made me something of a legend on the streets, and I quickly gained some new friends. Dangerous friends. We had a solid crew going, but as our power grew, so did that of our rivals. From pickpocketing to vandalism, we were always competing against each other over territory. And to make matters even more complicated, their leader and I, a strong, beautiful woman by the name of Violet, quickly fell in love. Eventually, Violeta. she became my wife. Hold up, you were married? Like I said, there are things about my... Outra informação importante, pessoal. O Purple era casado, e o nome da esposa dele era Violeta. Past you didn't know about. Our romance was done in secret, to not anger either side. But eventually, there was too much to hide. My wife had become pregnant, and we both decided, there and then, that we needed out of the game, for good. So we ran away from it. We had gotten good at it after all, running away from life. A year had passed, and... <laughs> Olha só o filho do Purple, pessoal, que bonitinho! My wife gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. We didn't have much after leaving it all behind, but we had each other. We could finally start over. Unfortunately, life had other plans for us. One day, my wife's old group caught up to her as she was buying groceries. They didn't take kindly to what they called deserters and decided to teach her a lesson. She didn't come home that night or any night after. She was gone and I was left alone with our daughter. 
Meu Deus, pessoal, é, é muito doida essa história do, do Purple, o Purple casou com uma mulher que era de uma outra gangue, eles se apaixonaram, só que depois de um tempo a gangue voltou e raptou ela de novo, nossa, que loucura essa história do Purple, coloca nos comentários, pessoal, se vocês já sabiam dessa história do Purple, nossa senhora, eu não sabia. Without my wife's help, I lost my way again, turned back to a life of petty crime, all in an effort to provide. It was all I knew. I tried to keep my second life from my daughter, but as she grew older, I think she started to suspect her dear old dad wasn't as good of a guy as she thought. Ah, nossa, a filha dele começou a perceber que ele cometia crimes. Meu Deus. Olha, imagina, imagina isso, gente. Nevertheless, we managed to eke out a humble life for ourselves, even as I struggled to make ends meet. That is until the day before my daughter's 10th birthday. It was at this time that I first heard the name Rainbow Friends. Apparently, it was all the rage amongst my daughter's classmates. I knew there was no way I could afford to take her there, and I told her as much. She understood, but I could tell deep down that she was disappointed. I resolved to myself that if I couldn't bring her to the Rainbow Friends, then I could bring the Rainbow Friends to her. That night, I made my way to the play place. The place looked abandoned, completely run down. Nossa, o Purple queria levar a filha dele até o parque dos Rainbow Friends, só que ele não conseguia. Acho que é porque ele não tinha dinheiro, né? É, agora ele tá querendo, ele tem um plano para trazer os Rainbow Friends para casa dele, não sei o que vai acontecer. Regardless, I busted in and started my search. There had to be some sort of dolls or other merch I could grab for her. My search took me deep into ah, the tá procurando um boneco, pessoal. The while, I was being watched. I finally made my way to what looked like a laboratory when I saw it. I saw a man being turned into a monster for the first time. I only caught a glimpse, but it was enough. Nossa. Meu Deus, o Red está fazendo experimento. Nossa, nossa, ele foi se esconder do Red e adivinha onde o Purple foi, pessoal? No duto. Nossa, ele tá seguindo o Purple lá. Bill. I woke up strapped to a table with Red standing over me. He was holding a binder full of pictures of me, my wife and my daughter. My, my, what a tragic life you've led up to this moment, my friend. I am truly sorry. Can it? You're no friend of mine. Tampa, Tampa, relax. I'm going to offer you a deal, and I highly suggest that you take it. He spoke of a contract between the two of us. He would provide for my daughter, making it so that she would never want for anything in this world ever again. He had a plan to get his riches back to accomplish this, and how I would play a key role in it. Of course, he explained. In order for this plan to succeed, my daughter could never know what happened to me. I knew I could never provide... Nossa, ele fez um, um pacto com o Red para que a, a filha dele nunca mais... Nossa, é muito complicado. Que a filha dele nunca mais é, desejasse nada. Mas aí ele vai fazer o quê? Ele vai se transformar num Purple. I was nothing but a low -life thief. And so, I mas era melhor que ser ladrão, né, gente? It was over in a flash. I might have screamed, but I can hardly remember. Before I knew it, my limbs had grown long and gangly. Nossa, ele, vir, ele virou o purple mesmo. I accepted my new life as a rainbow friend, and for his part, Red delivered to me monthly updates on my daughter's progress. She was alone in the world, but he had made sure to get her in the proper channels. Due to the rainbow friend's success. Ah, olha só, ele mandava dinheiro para para filha dele ficar nossa, tadinho do Purple. Ele, ele, ele se sacrificou pra manter a filha dele bem. Nossa, mas ela precisava do, do pai dela, né? Nossa, gente. Ela, ela ficou sem o pai. 
Doing well in school, sports, art, and talent. My little girl had it all. He kept his word, or so it seemed. One day, as we were entertaining the guests as usual, I saw her, my daughter, now fully grown up. She looked just like her mother. I couldn't believe my little daughter had turned into the successful woman that stood before me. <laughs> and yet, I couldn't bear to face her, so I hid. I was ashamed of what I had become. No daughter should have to see their father in this condition. Then she walked closer. She seemed sad, lonely even, as if she was looking for something. Nossa, tadinha do Purple, pessoal. Ela foi conhecida, mas ela foi por Red. Ele a tirou de casa e eu nunca a vi de novo. Essa história é triste. Isso é muito triste. Você está aqui por muito tempo. Por que eu não sei agora? Parece que sua filha está segura. Eu pensei que eu não sei agora. Até que eu descobri que foi tudo uma mentira. Você pode lembrar dos policiais policiais que estavam investigando esse lugar. Bem, parece que eles estavam procurando por pessoas perdidas. Among those missing was my little girl. He lied, Blue. He didn't take care of her. He turned her into another one of his friends. No, that's horrible. Is it? Is it too late? I don't know. There hasn't been a new friend made here in a while. But either way, Red's going to pay for what he's done. Are you with me? Let's do this. <laughs> Gente, a história do Purple é muito triste, pessoal. Eu não sabia que era tão triste assim. Meu Deus, coitadinho do Purple. Ainda não conseguiu ver a filha dele. Nossa, vamos pegar o Red agora. Ah, Purple. Eu estava esperando que você nos nós. Nós? Deixe-me ir, por favor! Nossa, a filha dele. Não, você monstro! Deixe-me ir! Espera. Essa voz. Pai? Bem, Purple. Você vai responder a ela? Come on, buddy. You can do this. It's me, sweetie. Será que ela vai reconhecer o Purple? I thought you. I'm so happy you're okay. You are? I'm so sorry. I tried to make your life. Nossa, ela reconheceu mesmo. All I did was ruin everything. Nonsense. Well, you see, now you can be together forever. No, 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 no. Meu Deus! Que isso? Por que, que o Red queria pegar a filha dele? Nossa, o Purple é muito bravo. Meu Deus, o que aconteceu com o Red? 